We have zero plan on how I'm supposed to do this. We did not. Hi, I'm Marcus <laughs> and I'm black. And this is Ask a Black Snowboarder. And I've been sponsored twice. And you can follow me on the Instagram, at Digbeats. Can we just use that? No. Come on. No. Come on. No. Oh. I spent almost the entire on snow demo trying on and testing various different boots that interested me. Um, as far as snowboards go, Scotty Lago is like my fucking mental twin as far as snowboards go. So I just take what he puts out in the double barrel in the open road every year and I ride that. Um, beyond that, Anything that Eric wants me to ride or thinks I would like, I'll throw that on because there's no designer or person in snowboarding that I trust more as far as building a snowboard. A um, lot of really cool graphics. DC's got that pretty epic, or no, sorry, Dinos. Dinos has that pretty epic Trump graphic. He's setting fire to the globe. Um, a lot of cool stuff visually. There was nothing that I rode that really blew my mind. I think the one thing that I'm really excited about is seeing uh, kind of the consensus feedback on the um, Marhar is dark side, right? Yeah, the Marhar dark side. They, they were one of the few companies that kind of asked me for feedback last year. And they were trying to build a cambered jump board. I'm old school. I like cambered jump boards. And we kind of went over some stuff after I wrote it. I was, like, very, very shocked that Nate took the stuff I said and applied pretty much all but one piece of it. And I went to ride it this year, and I'm not going to lie. My first thought was, oh, God, I hope it doesn't suck. <laughs> Because I was going to feel real guilty if it did. But I wrote it, and it was, aside, honestly, aside from, like, my lo my own Lago that I was riding, that was my favorite thing of the week. That was my favorite board I, I rode. Um, the changes worked out really, really nicely. The way he did the tweaks was, it was just really, really well done. Added some balance to the board, and if you're somebody that likes traditional camber and want to get out there, get in the air a little bit, it's, uh... It's definitely up there on my list. I'd say it's probably top five for me this year. So I'm, I'm excited about that. And uh, honestly, I'm, I'm interested to see how the flow to Nidecker transition goes. Because I, I rode Nidecker back in the late 2000s, I guess we'd call it. I don't, like, late aughts? Yeah. De decades are hard now. Uh, but at any rate, you know, 07 to like 09, actually like 07 to like 2011-ish, I was uh, I was writing a fair amount of Nidecker stuff, and I really, really liked it, and I kind of like where they've gone. I think they've gotten rid of some of the gimmicks, and the stuff's really cool now, so I'm looking forward to seeing how how they make their push into the American market now that they've kind of made that merge with flow and they're going to be a little more visible because they make some really really cool stuff but yeah that's where i'm at with next year's stuff other than that i don't have a fucking clue about anything i know that canute owes me outerwear and he doesn't owe me anything no that shit's way easier like all right some of you may or may not know this about me but <clears throat> i was an aggressive in i was an aggressive inline skater i was very good at it I didn't like rails because I was not very good at that. That shit's fucking hard. <laughs> like, there's no, there's no control point. Like, it just, like with skis, you got an edge. You can dig, you can grab. Like, with, with rollerblades, there's just, there's nothing. You just, you get a, you go one degree too far and it's fucking game over. And you can kiss your fucking hip goodbye. It's over. It's over, man. That's why I skated vert. I was like, every time I fell, I fell into a nice, smooth transition. Got to just kind of cruise onto my knees. That was the only time in my life I spent more time on my knees than Avon does.
All right, so this has been Marcus Stevens, your resident black snowboarder for Ask a Black Snowboarder, brought to you by the Angry Snowboarder. I'm not angry, he's angry. Let's remember that. I'm not angry. I love you guys. And if you love me, like, subscribe, share, click the bell so you get the alerts. It's down here, somewhere. I don't know much about YouTube. Uh, yeah, tell your mom, tell your friends. And uh, if you hated it, I'm doing my job really well. We'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to leave comments, because I will talk shit to you. Oh, another thing, guys. If you like what we're doing and you want to try to support, check out the link below. We've got a Patreon now, and it gives you some really cool options with great benefits to give us some support monthly and get a little bit back and some sneak peeks behind the scenes. So check it out. And we've officially gone off the rails <laughs> on this question. I don't understand. Did I word that question wrong? Our skiers on rails just rollerblading. Somehow you went off the rails. Well, any chance to get? Tell the people you suck dick. I'm gonna take it.